what is going on youtube today we have a 2018 jeep jeep wrangler rubicon <laughs> i don't know why there's so many different versions of jeep so when you just say jeep jeep but then i had to you know add the you know the different what model it was so this is the jeep wrangler rubicon right here as you can see right there rubicon written on it got the big off-roading wheels on it nice vehicle man it's all new redesigned in the inside for this year my favorite color too red <laughs> look at that man i i love i always love jeep but now that since they redid the inside i'm really in love with them now like that inside you will see what i'm talking about in a minute if you ever saw the old jeeps like they was it was all right but now they really stepped it up in the inside windows is already tinted from factory now this one does have a 3.6 liter v6 engine in it putting out 285 horsepower we're not gonna open up the hood because as you as you can see right here it's got all these latches and different things well i guess we can go ahead and open it show y'all what's underneath there show y'all what's underneath the hood real quick if i can get it open there's a latch right there i don't know if y'all can see it but it's kind of hard opening <laughs> I've never opened up a Jeep hood, so pretty sure it probably ain't nothing special to it, but this one right here don't want to open for me. So we're going to go ahead and close that. We just embarrassed ourselves, but hey, it is what it is. We'll close that. There we go. These latches, man, they got them hard latches on Jeep. <laughs> that up but let's get back into it <laughs> you got the led lights right here that that circle right there around that lights up very nice truck man look at the suspension you can see all of that stuff from right here very nice all of this comes off to this top all of this tops comes off it's a hard top but it can come off so you want to ride with the doors and the roof off and everything you could do that so right here you got the little blind spot detection right here on the mirror i don't know if you can see there it is so this is the key for it let me go ahead and get that out big cheap logo on the back big key it's a big key it still got the flip key as well so if you you know can't get in by hitting the buttons on here you know, there you go open that door very nice door for what it is it's an off-roading vehicle an adventurous vehicle so you got soft touch material right here it's not like leather or anything it's like it feels like rubber i guess jeep dodge and all of them love doing the stuff with the rubbery like feel to it but like i said it's an off-roading vehicle so it feels nice leather wrap stitch right here hard touch material down here you got your little storage net down here I don't know what that is back in the background sorry about that now these right here that's where your wire harness and all of that is at so you can take it off you know you got power locks right here as well power windows like i said you can't take the doors off so that's a plus too now look at this inside though because if y'all ever seen the old the older jeeps before they got redesigned for this year look how nice that is now you got the same it's like it's not the same body color right there it's a little bit offset red it's like a little darker red but it goes real nice with the outside of, of the car and also you get the red stitching up here as well to match the outside of the vehicle so it's a very nice touch to it nice bolstered up seats you got the rubicon in the, in the seats right there like i said this roof does come off as you can see the latches right there there's latches everywhere so you can remove the roof so if you want to drive without the doors and everything this is the vehicle for you seats are nice and both shut now you don't get power seats on here i mean it is what it is it don't really affect me pretty sure it don't really affect a lot of people as well either i'm gonna turn on these headlights real quick let y'all see how those lights look 
I guess the car got to be started. Duh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start it up real quick. Very nice vehicle. I wish it was a running board out here because I almost broke my neck getting in. <laughs> so, like I said, it's redesigned this year. So, you got those LEDs in the circles right there. Also, for this year too, this is new right here. If you look at the older Jeeps, you don't have that little LED strip right there. So, that's very nice. You got fog lights at the bottom as well. Now, this is the Rubicon, like I said, and... I didn't even show y'all the sticker. Now the sticker price on this one is at $54,195. The base price, if you want a base model one, $40,000. Well, $41,000. That's for the base Rubicon, but that's if you want a base car. So you get 18 in the city, 23 on the highway, 20 miles per gallon combined. Let y'all get this exhaust note. truck or SUV whatever Jeep we just call it a Jeep <laughs> leave it at that so look at this on the wheels right here you got the little Jeep logo little Jeep got your fifth wheel back there and that logo is on all the wheels as well very nice wheels they like uh, aluminum and metallic like black like a, it's not like real shiny I guess because it's kind of dirty but uh, yeah it'll shine up so it's like a metallic black I really wish it was a running board right here somewhere because I'm not I'm not tall so look look what I got to do I got to lift my knee all the way up and then <laughs> it's just kind of a hassle so we ain't close very nice stomp to the door let me turn the AC down there we go very nice very nice Jeep this year man steering wheel feels nice and bolstered and sturdy you got your turn signals right there. Let me turn those lights off before I forget. So you got your typical buttons right here on the steering wheel. Voice control, phone buttons, menu buttons to cipher throughout the menu. Audio, stop, start. So I, I believe you could turn off that stop, start crap. I hate that anyway, so that's good. Trip, reset, fuel economy, off-roading to lock your differential and all of that stuff right here put it in four-wheel drive all of that good stuff i don't know if the differential and all that stuff lock is <laughs> i'm not an off-roading person so but i mean to those of you that do know is it's got all the different stuff right there sway bar connected all of that different stuff very nice jeep <laughs> speedometer so if you don't want to read the analog right there you can just use your digital one apple carplay and all of that stuff is in here Connect the phone, you know, navigation, view map. There you go right there. It even, look how the, the water even looks right there. That's crazy, look at that. This is the uh, Uconnect system as well. You got different apps that you can, you know, do mirror dim, your backup camera. So nice crispy backup camera right there as well. It's got everything pretty much very nice vehicle you got your dual climate controls right here volume button push start so that's new too because I, I don't remember a jeep having push start technology so that's a plus oh also right here on the steering wheel you got your cruise control but back to this right here you got your auto parking assist thing right here you got your traction control this is your parking assist right here i don't know what this is for oh this is for that auto you know that stop start technology right here that's your parking assist this is your hill descent control we're not going down the hill so it's not going to work it even tells you right there hill control is unavailable you got your screen off so if you don't want to have your screen on you can just turn that off i mean it has everything your power windows controls is right here 
one button hit it let it down now you do got to hold it to go back up all four windows are powered you got your 12 volt charger you got your little media stuff right here for your aux cord usb and your usb type c shout out to whoever told me that that that's what it was in a in that jeep i mean that that ram video i did because i've never seen that before and it, it didn't look too much like that but that's unique yeah so you can lock uh the rear and the front or the rear only right there with these buttons you got your different auxiliary inputs right there your sway bar control like i said you got your you know your, your four-wheel drive capabilities right here <laughs> couldn't think of the words you got wrangler written right there that's nice and 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 beefy you got a little storage it's deep too it's little but it's deep I, I like how they they match this color with a little offset from the body so you still get that like look and back seat looks very nice back there very nice vehicle you got interior lighting right up there very nice vehicle man jeep really did their thing this year on this this redesign on the inside and outside too i like i really like those uh those lights on the outside as well too so if you didn't notice some jeeps got their little logo in the in the windows right up there so <laughs> if you ever break your windshield or something i guess that's how you would you know that's how they force you to come back to them if you want that jeep in there you got your speakers up here as well sos and assist didn't even see that it was tucked away passenger airbag indicator up there garage link buttons and vanity mirror with the light so even when you take the roof off you still get that so we got the center console right here got your usb down there it's deep in there too it's a two-part thing you got a little jeep i guess that's like the owner's manual or oh, it's like some tools yeah it's like some little lug nut thing it's like a key or something nice jeep man very nice I'm liking what they did this year you do get a five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty it's not that bad at all soft touch same materials on the front door just back here as well got the little cargo net Everything is, is geared for off-road, so you're not going to see too many high-end materials. Had to climb up there, man. <laughs> so, leg room is good. It's a Jeep. Headroom is definitely kosher. Got your vents back here. They close up, then they look like that. Got your window switches back here for your passengers. USB, all of that stuff. USB Type-C. 115 volt charger we call that the wall charger right there you got the wall charger in the back sit your phones right there while it's charging something else right there speakers is up here too so when you take off the doors because normally speakers go on the door but when you take off the doors you got your speakers still in here so like they jeep has really thought about look at that dashboard though it's very nice so right here, let me pick up the key. Right here, I'm guessing this is where your drinks is at. Yep, that's where your drinks is at. Little cargo space back there. We ain't gonna open that up because you gotta take all that tire and all of that stuff off. So we're just gonna show y'all this way. Very nice vehicle. So now look how look how high it sits up too, because like like I said, I gotta go all the way down. So, sits up high. Very nice Jeep. Yeah, Jeep really did their thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all the front end of it again before we get out of here. Look at that. You got your hood scoops up there as well too. They are functional as well. See, 
Very nice Jeep. Make sure y'all go ahead and follow that Twitter page too. And this video is done. I will see you in the next. Thank you for watching.